meet our next guest. He is an incredibly talented actor you know from Marvel's Luke Cage, Girl Strip, The Good Wife, and so much more. Please welcome the always suave, the always sophisticated Mike Coulter! <laughs> Mike, so good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Are you excited to be out of the house? Oh, you my know? God. Yes. California's reopening yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. How are you feeling about all this? Oh, my God. I'm so happy you invited me because I had, I had to get this suit worn. I literally bought this suit and a couple others before COVID closed. Right. And then everything shut down. I had events to go to, and then all of a sudden I had nowhere to go to. Oh. So now I'm like going, oh, my God, I get to leave the house and I get to put a suit on. I haven't had a suit for two years well, now. Well, thank God it still thank God it still fits. Oh, my God. Thank God, right? This because, has been a COVID test. Yeah, it was. A, that is... <laughs> That's a true right. COVID test. Now, Father's Day is this Sunday. You have two young mm -hmm. daughters. You and your eldest daughter, we have a photo of you here. Mm -hmm. you, you like to play... Chess. Now, it looks mm -hmm. like she's got the measure of you here from this picture. Uh, how are these games? Are they competitive? You know, I think by the time she gets of age, she's going to be really good at it. But right now, she lacks patience. And, and the game is really about patience. It's yeah. really about thinking about all the options, six or seven moves ahead. And she doesn't have the patience yet. But I, I, right now, I'm letting her do a little better than she should. But I can't let her win. I can't let her win. That's, that's, right. that's a, you know, you can't, you can't let them win. Because if you let them win, then all of a sudden, they think they're better than you. And you don't want that. Yeah. Well, that is, you're right, that, because there's a strange thing that happens in parenting where up until the age of about, sort of, around about five, six, mm -hmm. we, we let our children feel like they're absolute superheroes. Yeah. We run really slowly. Oh, yeah. you're, you're so fast. <laughs> you're so clever. And then around about six, as parents, we go, OK, it's enough of that. I'm enough gonna... of that. <laughs> I'm going to actually start to show you how average you are at all of those things. <laughs> And apparently that's good parenting. I don't know. Subpar, a bit subpar. Yeah. <laughs> now, I didn't know this. You earned uh, your scholarship to college was a, a choir yeah. scholarship. So are you, a, are you a trained singer? How did you end up as a choir scholar? Trained. That's a, that's a loose phrase, trained. I, I would say I can hold a tune. I had a scholarship. Uh, I sang on a few boy band concert kind of did thing. You? I did a couple of little did acapella things. Yeah, I did what a little bit of that. What kind of stuff were we doing? Well, you know, the, back in the 90s, that was the time with music. So um, most of the stuff we sang were like boys to men covers. We did, that's kind of what we were doing. So what would you do on the boys to men? Well, my name is Mike, so obviously I was Mike the bass. No. Yeah, yeah. You didn't do the uh, talk yes. downs. I was no, the guy. No, you did not. I you do the guy. talk downs. I was that guy. I was that guy. Do you want... Come, can we, would you, would you give us a talk down now? Can we do it to the fans? I, I don't do know if know? I'm ready of a talk, a talk down. You want to hear no, a talk down? No, you know what I mean, a mic, to, do we know, do you know end of the road? Do you have a you, microphone or something? Have we got a microphone? You got a microphone? Yeah, I mean, I can't gone. do a talk down without a microphone. Oh my God, okay, this let me is see. so let me, exciting. Let me see. Okay, hold on. All right. Oh, I haven't seen this in like 20 years old. Girl, oh. I'm here for you. All those times at night when you just hurt me and just ran out with that other fella, baby, I knew about it. I just didn't care. You just don't understand how much I love you, do you? I'm here for you. Yeah. Pretty much, it's pretty much it. <laughs> you gotta warm me. I need to warm it up. I gotta. I, that... I, I honestly, I feel like I just got pregnant. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm, it's not a joke. I feel you like was... Hagar is in bits. <laughs> Hagar's in bits. <laughs> We're... Oh, my You know, I God. reserved an octave. I, I actually turned that octave off because I don't want it to be known because that's not a good octave to have in public. You can't use that octave. That's forbidden. <laughs> it is. It's dangerous. It's, 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 it's so dangerous. I, I, yes. When I, when I decided that I was, you know, when I met my wife, I was like, I got to start talking in a different octave. So one octave, I, I, I talk one octave up to keep from people hearing that octave. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I do. I do. Talk, I talk an octave up. Nobody will, because women are like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah, oh my God. See, that is that just here? not, that yeah. is just, see, yeah, that is just not the yeah. experience of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'll do it in my normal voice. You, you do look, it. Look, you do give it. me the card. Oh, okay. Give me the card. This is how different it is. Go. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> All those times at night when you just hurt me. <laughs> You ran out with that other fella. Baby, I knew about it. I just didn't care. Oh. You don't understand how much I love you, do you? Oh. I'm here for you. 
That is a very different experience, isn't it? It really is. I love it. Uh, now, let's talk about Evil. Uh, you're about to start the second season. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, tell us what the show is about and who you play. Okay, so basically, I, I play a priest who um, is in the Catholic Church, or a person who is actually becoming a priest. Um, the Catholic Church hires me or um, basically employs me to seek out people who sometimes claim that they're being possessed, that they're demons in their lives, and to basically discern whether it is something sociopathic, psychopathic, um, um, demons or otherwise. And it's interesting because every facet of the show is able to sort of attack people's sort of understanding of what they think they see and don't see. My character believes in God, he believes in all these things, but at the same time, I, I've hired a woman who's a scientist who doesn't believe in any of that. She's a lapsed Catholic, and another guy who's an agnostic, and he's also, um, his family's Muslim. So all these different ideas are in the show, and it creates a great um, chemistry for all of us, and all the people who watch it just tend to love the conversations that it, that it brings up. Well, you are so brilliant in this show. You really, really are, and I'm excited for the next season.